in this segment we are going to see nested sql so a nested sql means uh, we can write a, a select query inside of another select query so we can have a select query okay select statement and inside a select statement we can have another select statement okay so uh, that's how we can format a nesting of queries in sql so the select statement inside the select statement is known as a inner query inner sql okay and the main sql the main select statement is known as outer sql all right so let's see one example we want to retrieve the name and address of all employees who work for research department so looks like a familiar sql so what we can do actually um, uh, so without the nested query we can just write a query using multiple tables so this is going to need two tables employee okay and department table so we can just write a sql using a join condition okay we can um, uh, we can write a join query using employee table and department table where we are going to write a join condition okay employee dot uh, dno equals to department dot d number and uh, d name equals to research okay which is a selection condition now uh, we can see actually we can write the same query okay we can write the uh, we can solve the same problem using a different style of sql and here we are going to see that a format using a nested query okay so if we look at the query what actually we are asking retrieve the name and address of all employee who are for the research department okay now the department table has the information of d name okay d name and d number okay so all we have to know what is the d number of research department okay so what is the d number where d name equals to research all right so let's see we can find the d number where d name equals to research okay so that will give us the d number where the d name equals to research then we can write another query where uh, we can find the name and address of all employee where employee has a attribute dno where we can write a condition dno equals to five okay now uh, five is the name of the d uh, now five is the d number where d name equals to research so what actually we are doing we are solving the we are solving the problem using a nested sql so here it's look like that we are writing a query select f name l name address the attribute list from employee we are using only one table employee where dno okay dno in now what is the dno where the name is research okay so here comes another sql okay to find the dno where uh, dnam dname is equals to research we need actually another table so we are going we can write a, another sql statement so we are writing another sql statement that will find the d number from department where dname equals to research so that's actually completely two independent query okay but we are writing one query inside another query so how this is going to work first it is going to execute the inner query okay this is going to execute the inner query this is going to find the d number from department where dnn equals to research so let's see the value is five okay so let's see the value is five then our final query will look like select f name l name address from employee where dno in five okay so that will actually look like this so that that can the inner query can generate a list of values okay and here the condition is 
using a operator in operator okay if the dno for a tuple if the dno in any of the values then it is going to return true okay so a in operator the comparison operator in it will compare the value v with a set okay or a multi set values v and evaluates to true if v is one of the elements in v for example 5 in 5 6 7 okay so this is going to evaluate to true because 5 is in this set so 5 in 1 2 3 so this is going to evaluate to false because this value is not in this set okay so in general we can have several levels of nested query so here the innermost query is going to be executed first okay that's the idea then the outermost query is going to be executed at last so in this query in this nested query we can see that um, we are using a query inside a query but those two queries are completely independent okay because in the inner query we are finding um, the d number value we are finding a attribute from a table okay so this is going to use a department table and the outermost query is using employee table so here there is no relation between this query so the innermost query is going to be executed completely independently from any outer query okay this query result doesn't depend on any attribute from the outer query so this is an example of uh, uncorrelated nested query so it's a nested query but um, the innermost query i mean the inner query doesn't depend on uh, any attribute from the outer query okay all right now we can have a nested query uh, which is known as correlated nested query okay so um, as we said the innermost query will be executed first okay now if inside the innermost query okay so uh, inside the innermost query if we have a higher clause okay and the higher clause of the nested query it references an attribute of a relation declared in the outer query in that case those query are said to be correlated for example here we are going to retrieve the name of each employee who has a dependent with the same first name as the employee okay so i believe we can actually solve this problem using uh, writing a join query all right now let's see how we can write a, a nested query to solve this problem all right so here uh, it is going to look like so uh, all we need we have to find the name of each employee okay so we're going to write first the outermost query like that select f name l name from employee as e where the e dot ssn in okay then we're going to write the inner query and we're going to find um, the e ssn okay d dot e ssn from dependent as d where e dot f name okay e comes from the employee table and d is from the dependent table d dot dependent name all right so how this is different from the last one here if you look at the inner query we are actually referencing uh, we are actually writing a condition where the inner query is using dependent table okay but in the condition this table is using the references from the employee table and the employee table in is in the outer query okay so here looks like the out inner query is not actually independent from the outer query so inner query is using a reference 
okay inner query uh, is using a reference from the outer uh, from the outer query okay the inner query is using a condition where it is using a uh, the attribute value from the outer query so here we say that these two queries are correlated okay the result of correlated nested query is different for each tuple okay of the relations of the outer query so first of all we have to understand whether this is a correlated query or not then we are going to see how a correlated nested query works okay so if the query a nested query is not correlated then the innermost query is going to be executed first then the outermost query will be executed okay with the result fetched by the innermost query but if the query nested query is correlated in that case how this query works uh, the mechanism is different so how this is going to work actually so let's see we have uh, employee table okay and we have dependent table now the dependent table uh, uh, now when we, we are going to fetch all the dependent the dependent requires a reference from the employee table okay so how this will work actually so let's see we have a list of employee table we have three four employees okay and we have couple of dependents okay so for this query it is going to uh, how this is going to work it is going to um, first check each of the employee okay it is going to check for each of the employee for example for employee one it will go to the dependent table and it is going to scan all the dependent okay so for each of the employee it will check all the dependent and it will find whether that employee dot f name attribute is same as the dependent name okay so for each of the employee it will check each of the dependent and it, it will find whether this condition is true all right so for the employee one it will check all the dependent okay if it finds that f name is same as the dependent name it will uh, it will fetch the record from the employee table okay again for the second employee it is going to scan all the dependent if it finds the first name is same as the dependent name it is going to fetch that employee okay if it is false it is not going to fetch the employee so that's how a correlated nested query works so for each record in the outermost table it is going to check all the records from the innermost query the tables okay and it will check the condition whether this condition is true so this is just an example how we can write the same condition using join condition okay how we can write the same sql using the join condition or join operator so another example of correlated nested query we are going to e, uh, see one example using content operator so the content operator it's a comparison operator which is going to uh, which is used to conjunction with we can use it in conjunction with nested correlated query so content operator uh, actually um, this operator was dropped from uh, the language possibly because it's actually difficult uh, in uh, the implementation phase all right now many of the implementation of sql has this operator but many of the implementation may not have this operator so how a content operator works so uh, it's like a if we show it as a set operation it is going to work like that so a set of values say one two three four contents so this operator compares two set of values and returns true if one set contains all the values from the other set okay so let's see one two three four five 
so one two three four contains one two three four five so if the first set contains every value from this set it will return true so this set doesn't contain every value from this set okay so here five is missing so this will return false okay now let's see we have one two three four five contents say contents one two three okay so this set contains every value from this set okay so this set has uh, contents every value so one two three all of them are is in this set so this will return true okay so let's see one example so we are going to retrieve the name of each employee who works on all the project controlled by the department number five so just be careful about this what this query is asking we have to find um, the name of each employee who works all the project controlled by department number five okay so we're going to need um, the project table so project table has p number and d number okay now we can have a list of project uh, one two three four five list of project now okay all right now let's see we have a list of project under department number five okay so these are the list of project under under department number five now from the employee table we have to find the employee who works in all of the project okay in all of the project in this set okay we have to find a employee who works in all of the project so if we find the employee who works in p number one that's not it he has to work actually in all of this project okay so how we can do that we can use a content operator all right so what actually we are going to do we can find for each employee For each employee, we may find the list of project that employee worked. Okay. Let's say employee one worked in a list of project. Say one, two, three. Employee two works in a list of project one and two. So employee three works in list of project two and three. Okay. Now, if we find a list of project that a particular employee worked, then we compare this set with the list of project under department number five okay all right so this set uh, the employee works in the list of project should i mean that contain all the value of this pre p number okay so let's see here this employee one works in, worked in one two three four five so it um, it contains all the values from this set so that means this employee should be selected but this employee worked only in department number one and two okay sorry project number one and two but we have actually more than uh, more than this project for department number five so this employee didn't work in all the project okay only some of the project so here we can use the contents operator so what actually we are doing we are writing a correlated nested query so how this will work uh, for each of the employee okay this is the inner query all right this is the inner query and this is the outer query so for each of the employee first it will find the list of project that the employee worked okay so this will be the list of project that the employee worked then we are going to check whether this list of project con content all the list of project for in department number five okay so this will return list of project that the employee worked and this will return the list of project okay where d number equals to five okay and we are going to check whether this set contains all the values of this set okay then we'll know that whether 
uh, whether that particular employee worked in all the project controlled by department number five okay so this is an example of query where we cannot just write uh, by we cannot solve just by writing a join condition okay all right write a query using a join condition because here we need some set operation all right 